The 13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, quality made simple. Well, summer heat uh, has taken a vacation after all last week. Cold front came through Friday night with lots of severe weather and then finally more seasonal weather has settled in. What's ahead? 13 weather ball is green. No change to this kind of weather for seen this week. It's also blinking bright. We do have some scattered showers in sight and this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees this afternoon. Our average high is 79. That's a little bit better and that 80 matched our forecast high. That's uh, two days in a row with bullseyes and six days in a row within three degrees of our forecast. Only missed uh, twice in the past month. As far as the weather tonight, we're going to stay partly to mostly cloudy. Just some mid level clouds coming overhead. There might be a sprinkle of rain late tonight or very early tomorrow. Just enough to dampen the ground and temperatures tomorrow very close to where we saw today. I think any showers will be off to our south and east late in the day. What you've been watching on your radar apps throughout the day are some showers across the lake. Mid level clouds are now moving on in, but the showers are pretty widely scattered. We're not going to see a lot of those tonight. They may be just enough to dampen the ground. Got a cold front right in through here. You can see that uh, leading edge of the clouds, but it does clear out behind it. But unfortunately, this front's going to slow down just off to our south and east late in the day tomorrow. And so we're going to watch a low pressure system move up along it. Give us our showers tomorrow night through early Wednesday. You can see hour by hour tonight. Not a lot going on between now and 11. Just some breaks in the clouds, maybe a spotty shower here and there, and those push off to the east. So when you wake up in the morning, the ground might be damp. The skies are already going to be clearing off to the north and west. If there are any sprinkles at all tomorrow, they'll be in the afternoon uh, to the south and east of Battle Creek. So all the way around, not a lot of activity here. But tomorrow night, here come the showers back in and they'll continue again. They'll push to the south and east on Wednesday afternoon, back into some sunshine and dry weather, probably until Saturday night. In terms of rainfall, not a lot. We have enough to dampen the ground here and there as we go through the day tomorrow. Any sprinkles again, south and east, Battle Creek to Lansing for the most part. Tomorrow night's when everyone will see at least a half, maybe three quarters of an inch, and then showers again moving off to the south and east, and that will be it until the uh, middle of the Labor Day weekend. Tomorrow out on Lake Michigan, sunshine breaking loose just about everywhere. Again, maybe that shower late down around St. Joseph and Benton Harbor. Uh, waves will be down to one to two footers. So partly cloudy skies tomorrow, mid 70s north, near 80 around um, Muskegon and Holland up north. You can expect highs right around 79 with some morning clouds and afternoon sunshine. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, there could be that lingering shower. Again, Battle Creek east of Hastings and maybe Ionia. Highs are right around 80. 13 on your side forecast. Average high is 79. We'll be around that or a little bit warmer. We'll be breezy on Thursday and we'll drop from 82 to 71 Friday. All day Saturday will be dry, but Saturday night and Sunday now look like it'll be rainy, but mid and upper 70s. And then here comes the cool weather with lots of clouds, lots of showers, especially from Tuesday afternoon through the following Thursday.